let's understand the requirement and then we'll design the solution in Incorta. We have two tables, shipment and shipment ref. And this is the SQL we need to model in Incorta. Pretty simple, straightforward SQL. From this table, you get shipment.id, SH is shipment table. And there is a coalesce function which should return attribute column, value in attribute column. And if this is null, then you return shipment code from this table depending on condition defined in the where clause. If this happens to be null as well, then from the same table, return this depending on the condition defined here in the uh, in, in the SQL. And condition is pretty straightforward. You have two tables as I mentioned. Shipment ref is used two times in this table. As A, as B. You can see it here, right? And this is the condition defined here. We also know that these two columns, combination of these two columns makes a primary key. Now that is very useful when you uh, when you know that this modeling the SQL in Encorta is very useful when you know that the combination of these two is a primary key. Now to model the SQL in Encorta, let's see what you need to do. You know that same table is used twice. So it, it means you can use an alias feature in Encorta. And we also know that this column is not a primary key. Combination of these two columns is primary key. And we also know that code A and code B, these are the two values which are used in this, which is also very useful information to model this in Encorta. Now let's, let's see how we can model this in Encorta so that uh, we can achieve the same result, which is output of the SQL in Encorta without writing a SQL. So that's like doing a SQL modeling in Encorta, but using joins. All right, so, so let's see how this can be done. Let me go back to this schema in which this table is created. So shipment table and shipment ref table. So what I've done is I've created one more table, which is alias of this table. To create an alias, just click on this and then click on alias, select schema name, table name, and that's how this alias table was created. Now there's a join, this is a child table and this is a parent table. There's a join between this table and this table. Let's see how this join is defined. Shipment table and shipment ref table uh, join here. Now, uh, you know that you cannot uh, join doesn't make sense in Encarta if this doesn't happen to be a primary key in Encarta, right? And by the way, this is not a primary key. We just saw the sample data. Now, there's a trick in Encarta where you can, you can make it a primary key by adding a filter here. Remember, we mentioned earlier that there are only two unique values, code A and code B, right? So what I'm doing here is I'm putting a filter on parent table where I'm saying shipment code A is equal to code A, right? Shipment code is equal to code A. It means now this is the primary key because when you define this join in Encarta, it parent table is filtered by A and then this join is honored between these two tables. Same way you will see uh, with the alias table as well, which is uh, this is alias table, right? Exactly same thing, but here filter condition is code B, right? Shipment code is equal to code B, not code A. So once you have defined this join, then you can create exactly same table, which is similar to output of this SQL. Okay, so let's do that. Let me bring in ID here, line ID here. This is attribute. And then notice one thing here. Uh, actually, let me go back and use this one here, right? Because you can see our sample data as well. So let's bring in ID here, line ID here, and attribute here, right? And now if I bring in uh, this value from this table and value from this table, you will notice that uh, This join is honored, right? Let, let, let me save this. You can see that uh, system A, which is system A here, 10 or 11, 10 or 11, right? And uh, code A is the filter condition. So system A is showing up here and system B is showing up here. Now requirement is we want to show this in, in, in one column, right? 
because the second column here is this. So if attribute is null, only then we need to show value from this table. How do you achieve that? All you need to do is use a formula column in Encarta. There is a no coalesce function in Encarta. What you do for that is you use a formula like this. Okay. Now this formula is using if null, which is equivalent of coalesce, which is it will return this value if it is not null. If it is null, it will go to next expression and evaluate this. And here, this if null, if, if we determine this is null, it will return this. Okay. Let's validate and save it. And let's call it attribute. There you go. This is returning exactly same value which you will expect from this SQL, right? Here. And, and by the way, I can just take this whole SQL since Encarta is also a database, right? I can connect Encarta, connect to Encarta using any client tool and then just paste the SQL here, right? Exactly same SQL that I'm showing you and just run the SQL. Now, this output should match with this output here, right? Attribute one, like code B and so on. Oh, by this is code. I could have used other column as well, which is value, right? So uh, this is a very good example of how you model a SQL in Encarta using different features in Encarta.